How's it going, my sweet boys? It's your internet anime daddy, Allie here, and we are back with another Corpse Party episode. See you in there. Hey, door. The door is latticed with... What? What did it say? I need to get rid of this hair somehow, but I'll never be able to get it. There has to be something you can use. Maybe, like... Be, yeah, but, like, burn the hair off. I use matches and alcohol lamp. Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Check out that fire! The hair burned away cleanly, freeing the door. Oh, well? Someone's... Oh, God, someone's coming. I have to hide. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's running for me? Girl, you could've, we could have just gone in the cabinet. Pant, 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 I peeked out from the entrance. As stealthily as I could, fortunately, there was no sign of anyone to be seen. I hate Ayumi. She's brought me into this mess. I removed a plastic bottle from my bag and chugged its contents. Water, you mean? Gulp, gulp, cries. It's a lot better in here when you bring water. So, f so far, I've run into Suzumoto and Morishige was wandering around too. That's a good start. How is that a good start? I need to hurry up and bring them all back to life. How are you going to get her face back on? There's no way any water's going to come out of these pipes, huh? Ew, it's probably filled with like blood. Didn't think so. Well, that's better than blood. You know, since there, do there don't seem to be any spirits around, maybe I should go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I disagree. Severely disagree. You want to go in one of these meat meat tunnels? This happened at Makina Shinozaki's apartment too. It's like I'm drawn to keep creepy bathrooms. Now you're gonna pee. Oh no. What? What? What's happening? Did you go to the bathroom yet? Why would you close the door? Jesus! Why are you running? Yeah, I knew you'd mess shit up. There was a wooden door frame, but no longer any door, just a solid wall where the door once was. Aw. Uh, Come on! Please, no! No! Oh my. Oh. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken, no soul may reside in trees that have died. Somebody help, please! Now, wow! Oh, you! I'm drowning the water splitter! It's not water. Why? I can't see the bottom! Heavenly Father, Almighty God, take mercy on this impure soul! Strike down this person with one firm swing of thy divine blade, O oh Lord! Please! No! Help me, Kishinuma! Goodbye! No! Whoa! No! Whoa! I need one, please! Daddy, Katasukete! Ayumi? Oh. Swim toward me. <laughs> okay. I'm not swimming. I'm literally walking. Um. Okay. Okay, little ghosty girl. Where are you? Where are you? I'm just gonna click around. Oh, God! Why'd she go that way? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that, oh, I remember this girl. Oh, wow. If you see in the anime, I wouldn't really want to talk to her. Oh, oh, I was hoping I'd see you. How have you been? Dead? Oh. That book, she does have it! 
A large tome was being cradled against Yuki's side. Yuki, um, I, I came back here because I need that book you have. Could I uh, take a look at it? I reached out slowly and gently, hoping she'd hand the Book of Shadows to me. Hand me the Book of Shadows. Instead, she quickly hid her hands behind her back. Grim Grimoire and I, Grimoire, no! Oh! Is it important to you too? Goes through wall. Off. Bitch. I thought for a moment that I'd caught a slight smirk on Yuki's face. Then, with a crash, the heavy hardcover book broke through the window behind her and fell outside. Um. I instinctively ran over to the window, but obviously couldn't have caught it in time. I looked down, though, and saw the school's courtyard directly below. The book was in there somewhere, but I couldn't distinguish it from everything, anything else through the veil of darkness. Oh, well, uh, Yuki, why would you do that? What? Okay. Well, I'm going to go now. Have a nice day, bitch. Yuki, have you changed? Oh, she's running. She's like, I'm out. Oh god, oh god, there's no way to run. Oh! Oh god! Oh yeah. And then this is the club room. Yeah, this room. Well, I guess I'll wander, see if any ghosts want to come kill me. I don't know what that is. Sweet boy ghost, where are you? Naho Sayonoki and Ko Kibiki's bodies are most likely still in here. It's probably best not to disturb them. Okay, but then where's the man? Hey, there's a key on one of those hooks that wasn't there before. Classroom, key obtained. Okay, time to find the classroom. Maybe I'll get it on my first guess again. She guessing. <laughs> Any ghosty goos in here? Some wires. Gonna go get this. Somebody was playing some Ouija in here. Idiot. Why does it want me to? Yes. I'm just gonna cut all the trip wire. They're gonna be like, why would you do that? That was to protect you from a spirit or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't care. It scares me. I don't want baloney myself. I'm not salami. So don't salami the jabami. The name tag was besides, of course, East Koyo Elementary, 53 Ryunosuke Sugimoto. Why were you doing that? Electrocated by light switch? Why were you playing haunted games? You're in elementary school. Idiot. Guess I'll touch this Ouija board. This seems like a spirit board, the kind you use for seance. <sighs> this bitch is back, and I don't know where I can hide. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The voice seemed to be coming from upstairs. Oh, thank God he's not near me. Why is he so annoying? He needs to go. Right, well, I guess I'll go upstairs where that asshole priest is. Do you go on this one? No, okay. I see. Understandable. Have a nice day. Ah! Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken. No soul may reside in trees that have died. What does that even mean? 
You mean inside a building? Okay, well, do I get to kill the priest? Well, I don't want to use this unless it wants me to. I guess I'll use it because it seems like it wants me to. Whether that's going to benefit me or not, I guess we'll find out. It's moving on its own. Is he on the ceiling? Oh, hey, fam. Suddenly, there was a woman standing in the middle of the classroom. She had her back turned to me. See, they like wanted me to put the flashlight on, so I'd fling, flicker at it. Ha <laughs> ha! Little did they know I've been playing this game with no flashlight. As soon as I saw her, my phone screen flicked off, bathing the room in darkness. All I could make out beforehand was that this figure was female. No other distinguishing features. Also, guy Jean. <laughs> Nice try, bitch. I've already had to run from my you countless times. You can't scare me. There's nothing more terrifying than hearing with no face. Oh my god! Oh shit! Wait! Oh my god! Wait! She just used one of my talismans, and it didn't. It didn't do. It didn't do anything. What? Come on, be. Come on, be. Come on. Come on. Ghost. Get it, 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 get it. Go, 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 go. They live in the meat shadows. Fuck. So does glass. Na 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 na. Fuck. I like to stab myself in the knees, use walkway key. Oh, well, it's beautiful outside. Little towel. There's a dusty old towel hanging here, lovely. Can I walk? Smiles, it was this way, right? Oh shit, I didn't mean, okay, well, I guess it wants me to go this way. Let's go talk to that dead body. Are those like little worms on a rock? Little giant maggots on a rock? There are a large number of slugs crawling around its way on the sculpture. I think that's just a rock. Hey girl, how's it going out here in those woods? A name tag rests beside the corpse. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. Thank you, game. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> She's like, do not go that way. <laughs> Run in, run in, run. Oh, there it is. Or it's a big turtle. Hey, touch your feet. Oh, great. Thanks, game. <laughs> Yay! This is it! This is... A haunted book. It did look similar to the Book of Shadows, but the green pattern on cover by me was fashioned in an unfamiliar pattern. The grimoire... The Book of Shadows was kind of like this white. I placed it on the ground, cracked open the album cover. It seemed to be a medical manual featuring numerous old diagrams and autopsy, di autopsy dissections. Conjoined twins, incurable diseases, twin pregnancy. I couldn't believe it. I'd come all this way, put myself at others at risk, all for... What are you saying? Are you pregnant? The wrong book. This isn't it. This isn't the book, so... So where's the real one? Oh shit, I'm about to get stabbed. Yuki! What are you doing? Oh Jesus, you set yourself on fire? <laughs> Jesus! What are you doing? She's become a rocket ship. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Yaki! Fam, what the fuck happened to your mouth? Is Sachi still alive? What? How come you're all bloody? Ayumi, stop! What? Aiko! Keep your distance from that girl! You're in grave danger! Who we say? I. I can't be such a crazy. I don't know, but that's not important 
right now. Listen, Ayumi, okay? You came here in search of the Book of Shadows, right? How'd you get so fucked? The Book of Shadows isn't here. It never was. The only thing here is Nirvana, the book that the book spawned. There's nothing at all to be gained from this. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. The reflect the auto the photograph I took was a reflection of this girl's malice. It was a trap to bring more people in. I could produce several more th more photographs, exactly like the photograph she'd shown me before. Look, these are all photographs I found here. Each photo varied wildly in its coloring, with some looking brand new and others looking significantly aged. But the figure in the picture was e always exactly the same. They're identical to yours! No matter whose picture it is, they all show the same girl in the same pose. But the thing that gets imprinted in her hand is different every time. It's based on whatever the photograph is most death to tolver. <laughs> Photographer is most desperate to find. Sure enough, the item the girl was holding in her left hand was different in every single picture. It wasn't just the Book of Shadows, but things like silk cloth, human bones, a beat-up checker pattern doll, always held the same, but never the same object. Okay, well, we really need to find that, that shit-eating grin boy with the beans. We were all baited by the book that doesn't even exist here, and we walked right into it. This place is under her control, and if we stay, we're all going insane! We can't last, last much longer! We need to get out! Do the chance now! Hey, but where's your hellhound, sweet boy? She's about to die, I can feel it in my bones. I was confused for a moment, wondering why Aiko wouldn't just make use of her ever after stones to get home right then and there. But that's when I noticed her hand. Or is she missing half her hand? There were massive puncture wounds on it, as if she were bitten by a wild dog. It was so bad that the white ligaments in her fingers were actually exposed. Jesus, visible to the naked eye. That's disgusting. I want to vomit. She was breathing heavily, a testament to how much pain she must have been enduring. I didn't want to crush her spirits, but I knew what she was hoping for, and it was something I couldn't provide. I like how this thing's just like waiting for us while we have our conversation. Like, ah, oh, you guys can have this conversation. I'll kill you soon. I can't. You have the Ever After Stones, right? So use them already, please! Why would you say this in front of the monster? I, I don't! The person I came with has him and I don't know where he is! Oh. <laughs> we, we can't go home! Just try to kill the monster. I mean, it really did wait patiently for you guys to have your conversation. Like, very patient. Um, wow! Bad ending! Maybe, I don't know. Eek! What? 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 Did you just set her on fire, you bitch? Stop. Hey, can you not do that and just stop, drop, and roll? God, what do you do? Use a talisman? I don't know. There has to be something you can use. Um. Uh, uh, I don't, that's not going to work. I clearly remember from my, from my pack and dumped the contents over Aiko. It didn't work. Oh, my God. This is, this is not, what are you doing? Now you're fanning the flames. Oh, I call, you're fanning the flames. You're gonna get set on fire too now. Just like, get out of here. I call. She's just streaming in the distance. This is great. I chased after Aiko. It really was the only thing I could do. She may not have had the stones anymore, but safety in numbers was a real commodity in these parts. Oh my God. I mean, she's been on fire way too long. 
Damn it, it's darker than I remember. I guess I'm here, though. Where's the lolly? The asshole big titty lolly? But this means Heavenly Host is still standing after all. And that's a real kick in the ass. Shinozaki, are you here somewhere? Kendo! Ah. Uh, kisses the candle. My sweet prince. No mistaking it. Guess she couldn't have gone too far, right? Hang in there, Shinozaki. I'm coming for you, you'd think. Oh, you're about to die. Something's behind you, girl. End of chapter. I know it. Chapter three, pain and suffering to be continued. All right, my sweet boys, thank you guys so much for playing with me. I will see you guys next time for an all new episode of Corpse Party Drive. And until then, don't forget to subscribe to Slate Tricks. We have other awesome gaming content on there that I know you sweet boys would enjoy. And also leave a comment down below about the scariest anime or movie you've ever seen. I'd love to hear about guts, gore, and waifus. See you next time. Internet Anime Daddy Allie, signing out.